What's going on everybody? Welcome to T3G and today, well I guess we should probably start off with our names, huh? I'm Harris. Dalibor. And today we're doing a, a video, we're, we're, we've been doing a lot of like video game videos and movie videos and we figure we just continue to tread and maybe finish off with our basically ranking of least to best Marvel movies. Yep. Current. Marvel movies, so the current MCU. Not so this is, we're in December 2015, we've got two movies coming out next year? Next year. Yes, yeah, so we've got two movie, two Marvel Cinematic Universe right. movies coming out next year, we've got Captain America, uh, Civil War, and yeah. Doctor Strange both yeah. coming out next year. But that's next year. So, that's Phase 3, that's officially Phase 3. Right. Ant-Man was the last Phase 2 movie, so we figured, we wanted to kind of give our ranking and thoughts on the, the, the current 12 movies that we've seen. Yeah. And, um, and we're actually going to try to make this really, really quick. Yeah. A lot of times we so like to... So not too many thoughts, just yeah, a couple too, thoughts. Yeah. Uh, my my particular list, I'm not going to lie, is mainly... I mean, there are some aspects of it that it's not, but it's mainly sheer entertainment value from least to best. Uh, so, I, and listen, we we might not agree on this, which would be awesome if that's if we don't agree on this. Why don't you leave your list down below? We'll start that out right off the bat. That should be your comment. Leave your list from least to best. Absolutely. For the current MCU. That's not including... That's 2008 like, to 2015. Yeah, that's not including Fox's Marvel stuff. That's not including Sony's Marvel stuff. This is just Marvel stuff. So, uh, Disney yeah, Marvel. Yeah. yeah, Disney Marvel. So we're going to go ahead and start out. Did you want to do yours first? Sure. All right. All right, so going from the... Now, this is not as far as... Th this is in no way, I think, reflecting on the quality of the films. I think all these no. movies are good. Yeah, at yeah, the very yeah, least, yeah. good. Yeah. So, to say... I, I don't want to say it's the worst, but I would say my least favorite right. of the 12 Marvel movies that have come out so far is Ant-Man. Uh, I think it was a good movie. I think it was a funny movie. I don't think it was as outrageously hilarious as some people... <laughs> um think it was but I, and I definitely don't think it was the best Marvel movie uh, again or even some some people better think, than certain ones yeah uh, some people on the internet some people out there in the, in the YouTube area think that it was just like the bee's knees and uh, I really don't think so I think it was a good movie I think it was fun I don't think it was capitalized on properly I think Marvel missed a huge opportunity by tying by a hard tie-in to like agents. Uh, or Agent Carter even, because that was a, the past. They, they, they dealt with uh, Hank Pym being a past Ant-Man. Right. I think that could have definitely been tied in. I think that would have brought more of a solidarity between the, the TV shows and, and that stuff. But, again, an opportunity missed. Uh, the next movie I have on the list is Captain America First Avenger. Again, I really think this is a good movie. I love this as being a first good Captain America, Captain America movie because I have seen the 90s ones and less said the better uh, but I think this this to me played really well for the for the era I think it did the kind of 40s era really well I think it presented it really well but I think for me it was a little more boring than I wanted it to be right. uh, in certain spots uh, you know, it started off good with that chase. So after he got his powers, uh, you know, you got a good couple spots. Once he, he but he, like the whole U.S. So there was just, I think, a lot of U.S.O. stuff, mm -hmm. a lot of stuff where he just kind of wasn't being utilized. Right, right. So that's kind of why it's so low on my list. Give me a minute. Uh, next, I've got Iron Man Two. Um, a few years ago, if you'd asked me, I would have said Iron Man Two was on the bottom of the list. Um, I've rethought about it. I've watched it again. It's a good movie. My my big problems with it is that it took a huge left turn from the first one. Right. It there were a few things that it really forced on you. Um, hate hate Don Cheadle as War Machine. I cannot say yeah, that. You more. really you really liked. Uh, I uh, 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 Terrence yeah. Howard Terrence, was Terrence Howard was Rhodey. Terrence Howard was Rhodey, and to see him not be Rhodey, like that—that that was that's still a really. And it, was, sour it was basically just a lot of drama over money that it was. Ended up, it was. Um, it was. It, it ended up, you know, dismantling that first team and having the second one. It, right. So, I, I think Don Cheadle's gotten better as War Machine. I still don't feel like he plays a really good Rhodey. Right. Um, 
I, I think Don Cheadle is a fantastic actor. He's uh, a great I just actor. don't think that he necessarily matches this role. Yeah. Uh, the next movie I've got on the list here is The Incredible Hulk. Really like this movie. Edward Norton did a good job. Edward Norton, I think, did a really good job. The way I hear, and again, it was a lot big, of it's it was, rumor. It was, it was big drama over... He who, wanted a longer cut. He it's, wanted, it's there not was even, 30 minutes more of footage that it's he actually, wanted in the film. It's not even just that. He originally was told that he was going to get writing credit. Sure. And then the, uh, the actual writing commission that gives those credits yeah, the, the, said, you didn't do enough work to get it. And so there was a lot of drama behind that. And, sure. were, and he was like, well, listen, if this is how this crap's going to go on. And he wanted certain things in the movie that uh, basically they didn't. So they couldn't yeah. agree on there that aspect of it. There was a conflict and that was yeah. that. Um, but I, I think, I feel like I would want to see that movie. But it was still I a think, good movie. I think he's a really good I think good Hulk creator. looks the be- In my opinion, I, I like that Hulk the best. That Hulk is my favorite. That more darker... Uh, but, I mean, the, like, but I mean, the Avengers Hulk is about the same. Kinda. It just they made him look there's more definitely, like. There's definitely a little bit of a difference. He's more rounder than uh, than this Hulk. This one's more rigid, more more straight, more. It, it, you'll if you look at the difference. That's, that's it's, the there. Point. it's there. It's um, there. The big thing I didn't like about this movie was the really the about face of the military. It was like. Catch him. Oh, now we need him. No, no, yeah. Jump out. And, I mean, if you die, you die. But then, and I don't know. I, I just didn't yeah. like... Uh, I really like the character of Thunderbolt Ross throughout the comics, throughout the, uh, the cartoon series. Um, really, really like that character. I don't... I think he was underutilized. I think the actor is fantastic. That's right. why they brought him back for Marvel Civil... Uh, uh, Captain America Civil, Civil War. War. Yeah. Um, I think he, he did a fantastic job. I just think he wasn't necessarily portrayed the best. Right. Um, I think he could have been a little bit better. I think, I almost feel like Ross from the Ang Lee Hulk was just a, a smidgen better portrayed. Um, but again, I, I think this is a really overall good movie. There were just a few, few little, just kind of weird. Like, I want another one, damn it. Oh, I definitely want another one. I but like, there, one. there was things like, they cut out the opening sequence, which he wanted, this is one of the things that he wanted yeah. in. And I definitely would have loved to see that. Have you seen the, the the, uh, the the scene where he tried to kill himself the the scene that yes, they, yes so the yes, scene yes. that they mention in Avengers right right where he says like oh I could put a you know I tried putting a, a gun to my head it right. didn't work yeah and it should they should have shown and that was they something that like that was a there's, huge it's a moment. five maybe five minutes and there's no reason why it, it would have been, been a completely there. different opening you would have gotten to see. Not necessarily see the Hulk, but you've gotten to see. But you would have seen more that the Hulk the would not allow it. Like you right. can see that that side of him won't allow him to take away his life. That's the thing. But like the minute he, that's it's another aspect of the being Hulk that you see. That's right. more than just this enraged monster. Right. So like that, there's more to it, which yeah, that, it should have been. There. That's really the thing that brings it down on my list is that they, there was a lot more for it that they cut out that sure. I think could have made a, a yeah. even better movie. Definitely. Um, the next two are Thor, uh, the first Thor, and I think Thor the Dark World. The Thor the Dark World, for me, scores just a little bit higher um, for a couple reasons. I think there's a little more talking in the first one, uh, so in the, in the second one there's a lot more action, there's a lot more action sequences. Um, the kind of obvious placement of things in the second one is a little kind of like, uh, come on guys, like this is obviously, oh, she was just in the right spot to right. go just the right place. It was one of those things where you had to do it. There really wasn't a, a more graceful way about it. Right. But I, you know, I, I, I definitely think it. It's still a good movie. I like. I love the first Thor movie. I think again. I think there was a little, mu- little too much talking. I think there, the, the graphics definitely got better. Yeah. The story got a little more involved. I love the, the the story of Thor. I love the kind of mythology of it. And the way they bring everything out, the way they kind of inter- yeah, absolutely. In, 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 absolutely. You know, interconnected everything, I thought it was fantastic. Mm-hmm. And, and, and the fact that Zachary Levi's in the second one also puts that a little Which bit. Which I didn't even me. realize. And that's honest. that's the great thing about it is because because of the, the you know the, the the makeup, obviously the, the the way they make them look, the fact that Zachary Levi was in it and you didn't realize until like after the fact, you're like, obviously, because I because I read it after the fact and I was like, who was he? And it says Fendrel, and I'm like. What? So then I rewatched the scene, and I'm like, "Well, that's definitely him." But 
originally like, you're just so in the scene. When you're watching the movie, you don't tell that it's him. Well, yeah. So that one, I, I, I think that that really brings it up for me a notch. The next movie for me is Iron Man three. I think that was a fantastic movie. Great action. One of the best. Um, Despite what they did with the trailers and and lead you yeah, on there, to there, something there, that there, completely there, wasn't there. There was definitely a despite lot. Despite Yeah, I think there was definitely a lot of uh, faults. But to it was the movie. an entertaining movie. It, it was, was an entertaining very... movie. I loved uh, having what the hell was his name? I can't think of it. Um, the bad guy. Oh my god. I just read. I just read. That's like that's like how we didn't know who Charlize uh, Theron was just, for uh, Huntsman. I just we, read. We don't the know. Demon in a I, bottle. I, I forgot. I forgot. Isn't it's it? not Hammer. Hammer was in the second one. No, not not Hammer. Uh, whatever, okay. whatever. The bad guy. Ah, it's, it's hurting my brain. It's fine. Continue. Uh, I think the way they did, the way they kind of made him more dangerous. They didn't make him just another armor guy. Right. Because uh, that's kind of that was the kind of damn the, the 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 problem with the first two is it was like let's just make it one to one like bad guy like good guys armored bad guys armored right right second sure, one sure good guys armored bad guys bases cool. on the same technology and then also gets an armor yeah so it was one of those things where in the third one I was like man I really just hope that they don't have the bad guy be in another armor but so they they gave him actual powers right so they went more the meta human route which i thought was awesome although they should have really played into on the mandarin side of things but that's... I think, yeah i think the mandarin story would have been way more compelling yeah uh, i think it would have skyrocketed the movie yeah. up on my list absolutely uh and I, I the fact that they gave out that little the little teaser that there might actually be a mandarin thought that well, was i hope cool. i hope i mean i'm not gonna lie i really hope that they if they play do that an iron man 4 because here's the thing they set it up they set up the 10 rings in the first one and the second one yeah so, to just give us this really weak payoff... Yeah, no, it was, was, it was disappointing. So the fact that they, they gave us a little more with the All Hail the King, I thought that was good, but I I, I think it was an okay movie. I think it was a good movie. Entertaining. Um, I, I thought the waste of 25 armors or whatever... Just yeah, like, there was, oh, for giggles, just blow him up. Yeah, I'll make more. I'm, I'm done being Iron Man, but then in Avengers, right, he's exactly. not done being that's Iron why, Man. That's why, because you already knew that Ultra, uh, Age of Ultron was coming out, that, like, that was a nothing scene. That was, it was, that was a it complete was nothing scene. It was a waste of time. It was, it was a, waste a waste of time, of time money. film, money, everything. Um, so that's what, that, that really, I think that's that's the biggest thing that brings it down on my list. The next movie for me is Age of Ultron. Uh, Age of Ultron, for me, the main thing that kind of pulls it lower on the list is that it's, I feel, it is kind of a rush storyline. It, yeah. it, it's, the, the, the way they, they're kind of like, you start the movie, everything's good, and then like, oh hey, here's this thing, boom, let's, let's like kind of get the bad guy rolling and everything. Whereas I th- think the first movie, they built it up over several movies. They did. Setting up the did. Avengers. Absolutely. And the whole storyline. So when, the, when you know, when you had the, the bad guys, you knew who Loki was. Right. You understood his motivations. So, them getting together, also, yeah. you know, Loki bringing that thing, you know, bringing the bad guys in, it, made, it all made sense. Whereas this time, it was kind of like, oh, also Loki's staff, so you kind of had that set up, but then you find out the Loki staff was way more important than it, than it, than it, than it, you thought it was, right? And then it just kind of you know grows from there. Yeah. Plus, they cut out some stuff. The, the, the behind the scenes drama. That's a lot of times what brings these movies down for me is behind the behind the scenes drama. Absolutely, so. yeah. I mean, and unfortunately, it's the drama that then. Cloud's judgment on what's good and what's not. Yeah, exactly. Um, Captain America Winter Soldier is the next one on my list. I think that movie was fantastic. I think the action was great. I think it really gave you this spy thriller. Um, Just a lot of really cool stuff. A lot of, like, classic comic shield stuff. You know, with the... The oh Fury's dead, but like yeah, actually yeah, yeah, not yeah, dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They like, did that great really stuff. Good. Great stuff. It's just like a really, really great story. Uh, Avengers is my next one. Again, they a huge setup. Huge setup. Yeah, they, I mean, like set up from the movies. first movie. Yeah. Set up from the first movie, the first Iron Man movie. The Avengers, you know, just knocked it out the park. Set like what now second biggest opening weekend of all time. Something like that. Um. So then, it's a fantastic movie. I really liked it. The next one is Iron Man. We've agreed on this. Iron Man, I think, is the perfect film. I think it is. If for some it ungodly reason it made no money, I think you could go back and watch Iron Man anytime you wanted. Yeah, you would have that movie. moment. It's a perfect telling of Tony Stark slash Iron Man. Yeah, and you don't need it more. You didn't. Absolutely. You didn't need a second movie. Yep. You didn't see if it stopped. If Marvel after that said we're not making any more movies. Yeah. 
Perfect. Uh, yeah, it was perfect. It was a perfect. Movie. It was it was a great setup. It was it gave you little sprinkles like the shield, the uh, the, the little thing at the end like oh let me talk to you about the Avengers Initiative. Yep. So there's like all these great little sprinkles. But if nothing came of it, it would still have been a great movie. Yep. And when you reach that point at the end where he says I want to talk to you about the <coughs> Avengers Initiative, Excuse you're like man what could have been right if if it, if nothing else had ever happened. Yeah, so absolutely. You would have just it, it would have been a great movie to see at any time. So I think that's why it's so high on my list still. Uh, and the number one has to be Guardians. I think it is by far the most fun of the movies. I think it is by far the most entertaining top to bottom. Filmed extremely well. I think the acting was really well. I was dangerously scared when they said Dave Bautista. I am always scared when they have wrestlers going to these, especially no. big name productions. I'm not going to deny that. I was like, especially a man, name like Dave Bautista, and I've seen, the man I've who seen hasn't Batista. really had anything. I see Bautista and other things. Batista, I think he did good in Iron Fist. He was in... Uh, uh, which he didn't have much line. Right, he, he was, did, it was he just did, a guy. He was a big, he, strong he guy. But he still did do But he was good. also... Wasn't he in um, Scorpion King 2? Was that him? Maybe. But I feel I, like that I, might I, have been I him. I think he was the king. I don't even know if I was interested. But like to me, it was like... Ah, oh, wrestlers is really it's like tough. I've seen one James or two Gunn, movies. James Gunn did a really good job mm -hmm. making that role fit him. Yeah, absolutely. He did, that's that's you know what when it comes down to directors, you know, doing their job, that is a great job that James Gunn did. He took an actor that's still working, still improving, still has a lot of time to grow. But you know what? He's like, what can I do with the skills that you have and this character you're gonna play? Mm -hmm. And it worked out perfect. It's fantastic. It's, it's. I think it was done great. I think this movie. You, you got to think about it this way. This movie made you care about a talking tree, right? And a raccoon. Sure. A talking right. raccoon. It made you genuinely care. Like yeah. when when you have that moment where Rocket breaks down. Yeah. You genuinely feel for it. Absolutely. And I think that that's just. That is a, a perfect example of how good the, the direction is, how good the script is. The fact that that was uh, Bradley Cooper, you never realized. Not even, I was like, that doesn't even sound like Yeah, that. you never realized. No. Like, there's, I was listening for it, so just a couple moments when you're like, uh, okay. Right. But otherwise, And plus that it's work. Chris Pratt's first major movie. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Like you got a guy and coming again, from a out TV the door, show, a comedy TV show, out the door to be to hit a blockbuster film just out of the park, out of the park. I think the top one of my that, favorite scenes is about the black light. <laughs> yeah, it makes it makes it just the best yeah. best film. Uh, they did a they did a, James Gunn did a phenomenal job, uh, and I don't know how much Disney got involved in that, but. If they let him do what he needed to do, which it looks like they did, yeah. he did a perfect job. So yeah. I, yeah, absolutely. So that's my list. Uh, I'm actually quite surprised how close our lists were. I thought they'd be a lot more different than they are, but we're fairly close on this. Uh, mine should be pretty quick. No explanations needed because we, we basically talked on your list. Ant Man for all the reasons that he's already said. Plus, I think um, what's his name, uh, Judd. Uh, what's the main actor's name? Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd. Thank you. Uh, like I was like, yeah. like Paul Rudd did a great Ant Man superhero, but as uh, Scott Lang, he was at best he was okay. I think they, they uh, undercharacterized. I, I think Scott they Lang, I think. The comedy in that was some of it was good, some of it felt like it was trying to be good, but it wasn't. And uh, personally, I just feel like the story overall just I don't know. It didn't connect as good as the other ones. Next one on my list. I would say Thor. Great telling of Thor as like an introduction to Thor, but like you said, fairly fairly slow moving, fairly not too exciting. Uh, but I mean, everybody, listen. Oh, if, that scene when he gets when he when he earn, when, he, when earns he earns the it, hammer. Yeah, man, that's the best payoff but I think. In, I will most tell you right now, movies. after seeing Chris Hemsworth first before Thor in Star Trek I as dad, I was like that scrawny thing. Is supposed to be Thor, no, the Thunder God, and then you see him, and you're like, I will never say another word about that ever again. All I right. will eat every word I say yep. about that. Next up, um, Captain America, the first Avenger. Um, it, it was kind of a tie between Thor and Dad, because they're both slow-moving, but I think I just enjoyed Captain America uh, just a little more. Uh, next one, there's really nothing much else to say. We've already said everything else. Uh, I did write, I loved how Red Skull looked and the fact that it's the guy uh, from Matrix, 
V for Vendetta. I can't, think of, I can't think of his name, but uh, I hope he comes. He said he's not. He said he's done with these kind of movies, but I, I hope he does come back as Red Skull. Next one up, Iron Man 2. It's my least favorite of the Iron Mans for sheer entertainment. Once again, my list is mostly on the entertainment aspect of it. Uh, it's still an entertaining movie, but on out of the other two movies, it's definitely the lowest. But it is above everything else that I've already said. The next, of course, is The Incredible Hulk. Uh, I enjoyed that way more than any of the previous movies that I just said. I thought it was a lot of fun. I think seeing Hulk in that particular design was really cool. Um, I, I love Edward Norton. I think he's a great actor. It's a shame that it, it's a shame that it didn't work out. But then we have Mark Ruffalo, which does a great job. I so true, I yeah. mean, either way. Next one up. Thor The Dark World, I definitely enjoyed this way more than the first one. I know a lot of people weren't happy with it, just to the villain wasn't strong enough, or whatever the case might be. I still enjoyed it. I thought it was way more entertaining, a lot more fun. And seeing like Thor and, and, and uh, okay. Loki try to work it out, but then you see the, Loki still playing his tricks and games, because he's the trickster. It's, it's how it works. So I, I, it was, I liked it. I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, next one, Iron Man 3. Already said, I, I hate the fact that they lied in the trailers. The whole point of the trailers was that you were selling you that the Mandarin is in the movie. That is what you're going to see. You're going to see the sadistic man tear apart Tony Stark. And then it was all a joke. So that. But besides that, it was extremely entertaining. I mean, we had a lot of action. We, had, we saw Pepper being a badass. Out of nowhere, though. Yeah. Out of nowhere. But regardless, she was being a badass. Um, but overall, still entertaining compared to all the other movies that I mentioned. Uh, but the this next one is, is a little tough to judge because I agree with everything you said. The Avengers, and now I'm thinking about it more when you were saying it. But for me, after Iron Man 3, it's the Avengers. And then it's Avengers Age of Ultron. I, I like Age of Ultron maybe just a little more than Avengers. But now that I think about it, maybe I should rewatch. Because I just recently watched, again, Age of Ultron because I have the Blu-ray. Mm -hmm. But maybe I should watch the Blu-ray that I have of Avengers. Because maybe you're right. May I feel like the I think only better thing in Avengers Age of Ultron was Because I do was like Hawkeye. the... Was that you got Th That's true. Hawkeye, yeah, yeah. You did get more Hawkeye. Hawkeye. That's true. Um, Which I'm sure uh, Jeremy Renner is uh, a lot happier with I that think, aspect. Because oh, he hated the whole mind control thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so for me it's Avengers and then Age of Avengers Age of Ultron. The next one up, as we said, Iron Man, it is the perfect movie. Acting, story, the way it's told, everything. Just everything about the movie is perfection. It's literally a movie you can watch, continue to watch it constantly, and always be satisfied with what you saw. I don't know what else to say. But I did love, next one is Captain America, The Winter Soldier. I was so disappointed with the first one. I remember when I watched the first one, it was also when Transformers 3? Something like that. 3 or 2 came out and Planet of the Apes. And I came to you and I said, Planet of the Apes was better than Captain America. And you Dawn, were like, Dawn of the Planet. Dawn of the, the Planet. First one. The, the first one. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. And you were like, really? And then you watched it and you're like, yeah, yeah. And, and it's because the first one was... It needed to tell a story that didn't include a lot of action. And that's that's the only unfortunate point thing about it. But the Winter Soldier, man, did they play that good. The whole with uh, um, Samuel Jackson, Nick Fury. The whole with Nick Fury, like, he's dead. But he's not dead. That was awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the All the parkour, the action, just everything about that. The, the whole, like, oh, it's, uh, you know... Uh, what am I trying to say? It's a uh, like a hydro cover hydra up. cover up. Thank you. That's it's a cover up. That's what I. It's it's a uh, what's the other word? Conspiracy. For? Conspiracy. Thank you. That is the word I was looking for. <laughs> it is a conspiracy. All that just played really well. The elevator scene where he kicks all the agents' ass. Awesome. Uh, they obviously play into the shield being able to do more than what it's intended to. Like him falling off of the story and it absorbing that fall. Like I see what it. But, like, we've talked about this, and we don't believe that the shield should be able to absorb or save him from that kind of fall. 
It, here's the thing. Like, he should it, be a lot more hurt than he was. Here's the thing. Well, he's also got a lot more, a lot stronger structure. It, clearly, he's stronger than he's supposed to be in the comics. No, no, no. No, he's, he's, he's the same strength. But at peak human condition... Sure. That's a that's really strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can... He can I don't want to say that he, he can't, like, lift a car over his head. Right. But he can lift a car solo. Sure. Like, any size, basically. Okay. Um, so he's got strength to, to take that I hit. I got you. I think he still would have been a little more hurt. But the shield would take the impact. So it would take... Here's the thing. Because they said that this shield is made... Straight think, by brain. Yeah. Straight by brain. Yeah, because yeah. so they take, can't use adamantium it, due to Fox. Which is why X-Men. Which is why if you see the fir- in the first right. one, when they shoot him, right. the, it just hits and falls. Right. It doesn't bounce. Right. Um, which is why when it hits, it wouldn't like you, he wouldn't have bounced. He would because it have, just absorbs that energy. Right, right. It would have absorbed the energy hit of the hit. But he was still falling. His body, yeah, he still, was still had falling. gravity acting upon it. I mean, he did fall. Right, so he was hurt, but he was not. hurt. I don't know. I think <laughs> I think it's. But close, regardless, but regardless, <laughs> regardless, it, it, it's it's definitely my number two movie and then of course the number one movie Guardians of the Galaxy I think that was a huge surprise for everybody it clearly just the numbers alone speak how great this movie was and it was it unknown broke a was billion unknown. dollars unknown nobody 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 the, the general public did not know about Guardians very of the little comic book people compared to the general public that saw this knew about this property and it absolutely destroyed now i don't know if it's people because they knew who james gunn was which i highly doubt i don't think that many i don't think james gunn was the the so was it chris pratt was it because because what is he on i think was it yeah yeah no not community um whatever the show that he was on the comedy show that he was on maybe it's that right maybe okay well chris pratt he's got that parks and rec maybe he's got that following right from the show so I don't know what it was. I think it was but part of that, but I think destroyed. the trailers were all done really well. The trailers were done really the well. The trailers made it and look fun, movie, and it was fun. And the movie was just absolutely awesome. He played, I think it's the same I think it's, it's the same thing that happened with Kingsman. Kingsman, I don't think the trailers were as good, right. but I think Kingsman was so good right. that when people came out of it, they told everyone, because, like, dude, this movie's so freaking fun. Right. So I think when people came out of Guardians of the Galaxy, they're like, holy crap, this movie's great. Yeah. Go see this. Yeah. Plus, there's a ton of nostalgia for that soundtrack. The soundtrack is killer. The soundtrack is killer awesome. soundtrack. It's not so, a... It's not a... Because uh, there's a soundtrack... And then there's a score. It's, yeah, it's not, not a, a score. score. It's a soundtrack. Because they clearly are using music that's already been created a long time right. ago. And, and it makes um, sense. It works within the movie. It, it, it just works great. It works so great. really well. It works great. But yeah, that's it. That's our list. Uh, we did it pretty quick. Under 30 Under 30 time. minutes. Thank God. Uh, <laughs> we're proud of that. Uh, considering all the other movie or all the other recent uh, ones that we did lists have been over an hour. So... Yeah, that's it, guys. I mean, I don't even know. Do we need to do a TLDR? Nah. 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 That's it. That's our list. Remember to leave your comment below on what your uh, list looks like. Uh, If you want to go from least to best or from best to least, just write down how you're doing it and then write it down. If you want to number it, listen, the comments can be long now. So do what you need to do. But let us know. We're definitely interested. We like seeing people's comments and we like seeing how... You know how different some people are. Maybe you're not as different, but maybe yeah. you are. So maybe, maybe there's America. there's people out there that believe Ant Man's better than Guardians, and I mean I don't know what to say. To <laughs> that. I don't know. Listen, what to I've say met Josh Knight, but that guy's on a different for level. real. I <laughs> I, I want to do I want to do a response I just, I hope video. One day, one day, I just want to do a video like this with Josh Knight. I know, right? Just like and it'll I want to do it with all of them. It'll be, be like honest. three hours long because we're just gonna argue about back that. and forth, back just, and forth, just about Ant Man. Just about Ant Man. But that being like, said. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. We do still have a giveaway contest. We were actually going to do more, but because the one's taking so long, we need you guys to get on it. We need 500 subscribers before we can pick the winners. Uh, It's in our uh, list. Make sure you look back. It's about two months old now. Uh, So take a look at that. Make sure you get all that done. And thank you so much for watching. Check out our Facebook. Make sure you hit that like on there. We We try to stay up to date on that as well. And yeah, and we'll continue to release more tech videos, promise. But next one should be a tech video. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Also, check out twitch.com forward slash T3G Gaming.